the series, I'm building a tiny cabin off-grid in the woods. Hi and welcome to the channel. Thanks for watching this week's video. My name's Flossie. I am in a tiny house on wheels. This is my van conversion, which I based on a little cabin in the woods. Speaking of woods, I built this van conversion myself. And this series begins our adventures of converting this rundown, rodent infested, sketchy kids playhouse into the most dreamy of all off grid tiny house cabins. Looking for plywood for the floor. I was actually horrified at the price. Hi, everybody. As you might better tell by looking at me, it's cold. I am about to go outside. The weather has been so gloomy and rainy for so long that I have just been curled up in bed, in my duvet, the fire on, feeling sorry for myself and a little miserable because I felt so un uninspired. Uninspired to get outside, uninspired to do any work, lacking in energy. And I know this happens to me in winter. I get seasonal depression quite badly and it affects me with lethar lethargy. I do have a full spectrum light, but I've only just started taking it and I have been bad and haven't taken as much vitamin D as I should be. But there is a slight break in the rain, so I am going to take the drone out because the clouds and the trees does look beautiful and I do love, this is part of the reason I do love living here, despite how the weather makes me feel sometimes. I've got my gloves on and um, I'm gonna go down to the tiny house. It's a little bit of a hike to get there but some work to be done. You <laughs> hear the rain on my roof? I think it's just coming out, out of the trees above me. I've got a table guide for cutting straight edges on wood and a new square and some plywood but I'm not going to take them down to the tiny house just yet Hello everybody! Friends, foes, and everybody in between I am down at the tiny house and ready to make some more progress on some work. It is trying so hard not to rain for just a hot second. We have had rain for probably the last seven to ten days and it has been quite something. I'll explain this in just a second. It is beautiful but I need to finish installing the last piece of rodent mesh and then this, this fun thing, which is not a cooking knife, I've used it for cutting plastic, is for cutting up these sh sheets of um, polystyrene insulation for the floor. We have the, um, I have purchased the plywood for the floor. Man, that was difficult for my brain. So I'm really wanting to get this done as fast as possible. Having a floor in here to work on will help me take out some of the other bits and pieces and start planning and rebuilding and showing you the design for what it's going to look like once it's done, which is kind of exciting. So, without further ado, let's get on it. This mesh is already cut, ready to go in here. This mesh right there will go in these gaps right here. Time for a classic ADHD moment. I am needing a break from stapling in wire mesh 
I have found a piece of wood that is a perfect template for between these joists here and I'm going to use the knife to cut a slice of these polystyrene sheets. Wish me luck! Let's see if I can just crack it off. Maybe if I just go boop, it might crack. This is a big and major milestone. Finally rebuilding, not demolishing. There's still a little bit of demolishing still to do, but this is a good thing. Here we go. Okay, the joists are all slightly different widths apart. I know I made it snug, but it wasn't supposed to be this snug. Ah <sighs> oh, yet again it's snug! Lucky they say exercise is good for you because I feel tired and a little worn out. It is super dark outside now, I had to stop filming. I got a couple more strips of insulation in to the between the joists and the tiny house. That pff, polystyrene foam is such a pain to work with, there'll be a lot of clean up. Um, but I'm making progress, I had to stop doing the stapling because I'm taking care of my hands, learning from my previous experiences. I still don't have very much of that left to do. All of the long pieces are done. I've just got four more end pieces to do. I have plenty enough wire to do it. <sighs> it actually feels like a relief. I also have purchased, along with the plywood, vapor barrier. So once the insulation goes in, a vapor barrier layer will go on top which will be amazing to really separate the temperature differences and I have some gap filling rodent resistant spray foam to fill in all the gaps. So we are getting there! I cannot wait to have a floor. I feel like I am on the verge of death all the time. I am so clumsy. The chances of me falling in between a joist are high. I've already fallen a couple of times off camera. <sighs> I really appreciate you following along. This has been a challenging part of the journey. I'm sure, sure it's gonna get better as I start building things, but this is outside of my comfort zone. I do not know what I'm doing because this is the first time I'm doing all of it. My van, yeah, I did that, but it wasn't quite the same. I just want to take a huge moment and celebrate the fact that I have finished installing all the wire meshing in the flooring. I am now about to get uh, out my uh, rodent resistant spray foam, which one of my Patreons recommended to me. Thanks, Cece. Um, it's been super awesome to know about this and I'm excited to use it. And then I get to finish putting in the rest of these um, insulation sheets. This marks such a huge chapter of progress because it feels like that was the job that was holding me up. It hurt my hands, I was dreading it, I could only do it in small doses, so it took forever. Everything else should be easier. So now I'm putting in the insulation, the vapor barrier, and the floor, which will make every... So I'm not sure if this is the exact stuff that I was recommended, but it's pretty damn similar or the Canadian version of it. I have some gaps between the insulation and some places of the wire mesh where I know mice could enter. So I'm just gonna fill it with this. And then when I put in the rest of the um, insulation sheets, 
where it is uneven and crooked, I'll fill this in in the cracks. been working for quite some time much of the floor insulation in <sighs> the spray foam is working awesomely in the gaps I have several more cans which I will use once all of this is in <sighs> wow and I really only have one more piece on that side and one more piece on this side which will mean that maybe this whole sheet will be spare this, I want to explain to you a little bit. This um, polystyrene insulation is not this insulation that I would have chosen. Um, it is making a bit of a mess and I have to do some cleanup afterwards. However, it was free and didn't cost me anything and was a gift from a friend. And it has, I'm only going to use it in the floor. In the walls, I plan to use rock wool. Um, Hopefully something right rock wool or sheep's wool We'll see but I am so thrilled that I finally got that horrendous stapling job done and now Onwards and upwards. So once I put the floor down, I have to take out these two side um, Banisters which were part of the outside porch do some more work around where the old wall used to be um so that I can start building new framing for the walls that go in the spaces where we will then put windows and doors. I had a wee bitty of a meltdown the other day that I couldn't keep working and that I'd been busy all day with my job and on the computer editing and then I came out and I had barely an hour and a half of daylight and the daylight savings and fall time change and darkness and days being shorter really had hit me hard and so I messaged Amanda and then she said this thing and I've been repeating it to myself and laughing about it ever since she was like it's just dark daytime mysterious daytime plants sleeping daytime and I think but I'm a plant too <laughs> So I really have to step up my game with my uh, vi vitamin D, the happy lamp, and shifting around the hours that I spend outside, if, even if I'm working, that I can get some sunlight during the day, or if it's just rain, 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 putting the daylight lamp on. But I thought that was so funny. So next time you find yourself frustrated with short days, just tell yourself it's mysterious daytime or dark out, but daytime. Dark daytime, mysterious daytime, plants sleeping daytime. It's still daytime. It's only like 5 p.m. This time of year, in six months ago, you were out done, it was barely lunchtime. <laughs> anyway. Sun is just barely set. And the cloud is already at ground level. Wow. So beautiful. It's getting dark. And I'm just taking a whole roll of vapor barrier down to the tiny house. It's been beautiful watching the mist settle in over the clouds. I am layered and rugged up. I'm wearing two pairs of pants today instead of one because it just got so much colder. And I'm gonna finish the insulation on the floor and then put this vapor barrier over top. It's 
so encouraging to be making progress. I still have to try and find some time to get on the computer and do all this design work to try and mock up the layout of what we've designed for the tiny house. I really hope I'll have time to edit that this week for you. I'm gonna try and use some Photoshop AI generated imagery. Photoshop AI technology is pretty neat. I've been using it for a bit. I have issues with the sum of the ways that AI is used, but in cutting out things that I don't want out of photos and replacing them, i.e. there's something in the background and I want to take out a building and put in a tree for still images. It doesn't work for video. Um, I can do that. And so I have some still images of the inside of the tiny house and I plan to use the AI tool to put in where the windows are and put in the door and show you what some cabinets might look like or put flooring in. <sighs> it needs to be used with caution and uh, transparency and like making people short making sure people know what they're looking at. I don't want to live in a future where we can't tell the difference between what's real and what's AI. So I will tell you that I'm going to do this interior design layout using AI and you'll know about it and you'll better tell and it'll be Now's the exciting bit. All of the polystyrene foam is in. I never want to have to deal with this stuff again. I hate it. It crumbles. It's made a mess. I'm going to have to come in here with a vacuum cleaner and a generator or something to run the vacuum cleaner. But I'm going to use this pest block um, spray foam. Spray foam all the pieces in where it joins together. Cut off some of the spray foam that I did yesterday that is above the floor level. And then... <sighs> I want to put down the vapor barrier, but there's a couple points at the front wall because we're moving the wall from here out there, out front, and that still needs support. So I won't be able to attack all the vapor barrier down there because I still need to add some extra support for some of the beams, I think. I think, I think, I think. Anyway, it's on the edge. I can undo it if I need to, but. I'm so pumped to have this stage done because the next bit is putting down plywood and I already have the plywood so I just need to haul it down here and as you can see it's dark out already. Mysterious daytime according to Amanda. Um, and so let's do this. If you don't know who I mean by my friend Amanda, her YouTube channel is Tideline to Alpine. Go check her out. She's hilarious. Uh, and been really encouraging to me with dealing with seasonal depression. I can't shine the light at my face and see where I'm going. So I'm glad that stage is done. I've got to wait for the foam to do finish expanding. And then I can come back and um, come back with the plywood because I still haven't hauled it down here because um, I didn't want it to get wet. I have been storing it undercover 
and then I will put the floor in. I've got to do a couple of support pieces to brace and secure it in, which will be great. And then, yeah, the vapor barrier will go down and then the floor will go down. these two cans which I was really hoping might have something left in them for me to seal a couple holes in the van but they're very empty and to be honest that's not gonna do much oh dear thanks for coming with me it is bedtime now and I am tired it's time to make myself some dinner, hot tea, and go to bed. Whew. Bye. Good morning, sunshine. So I'm having some times. I wanted to show you what the inside of the tiny house would look like. So I have started using um, Photoshop AI generative fill. It is shit. <laughs> the only thing that's worked so far is the ceiling. So what we're gonna do is each time something works, we're just gonna merge it down There we go. Okay. All right. We have a semblance of an inside of a house. This side of the wall, I'm probably just gonna forget. Could try to. Let's try. Because really, that's not the focus of this photo. I just did a whole bunch of stuff without recording. It was haunted, but we're making some progress. This AI thing is not for the faint of heart. It is quite terrifying sometimes. Let's put behind this cabinet outside into the forest and then we gotta move the door. Okay, this is what it was. Haunted. Better. Realistically, this all needs to be like expanded and moved over because there's not gonna be this much space. But we're playing around with concepts. So this is a rough concept of what I'm aiming to build in if you were looking at the tiny house from this perspective. I think that looks pretty sweet. It's all out of whack. It's not exactly the right colors. We'll see. Okay, I don't know if I have the energy to do any more, but this is design number one, maybe in each video. I will play around with AI generative tools to make more design mock-ups and see what we can come up and see how terrifying the results are in the process. Big difference. You see the plan. It's been so nice sharing this with you. Okay, I'll see you all next week in the next video. Bye! If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. And it really makes a difference to me. It may not make a huge difference to you, but it does for me. Um, hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, you know the drill. I will love you and leave you. And probably see you all in the morning. Bye.